So GTA loading screens are a very big issue even till date and if you guys play GTA 5 you might be familiar with those loading screens which takes eternity to get in the game. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your loading time and how to get faster lobbies in GTA 5 online. So make sure to watch this video till the end and with all that said let's get started. Alright, step number one is updating your Windows to the latest version. It's really important that if you own a Windows 11, I highly suggest you guys to keep your Windows up to date because Windows keeps on bringing new updates to fix any irregularities and that will help you to improve your gameplay. Simply go all the way down to Windows updates in your settings and then go over to check for updates. This will help you notify if there are any pending updates possible that can stabilize your Windows and give you better performance in the game. Right after that, you have to go to gaming and then go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and it also runs a lot of services which are really process consuming and that could increase your loading time as well right beneath that you'll also find graphic settings go all the way down in it and then click on change default graphic settings and make sure to enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games once it is done simply go back to graphics then go over to the browse button and add gta 5 from this list right over here once you have added your gta 5 simply go over to options and then select high performance and then simply click on save once it is done, close your settings and let's move to the step number two that is choosing the right power plan. For that you have to open up control panel on your PC and then look up for power options. This will help you to utilize maximum capacity of your PC or your device to improve the processing speed. Once you guys are over here, you'll find high performance, balanced and ultimate performance. So if ultimate performance is showing up for you guys, you can always click on it or you can always select high performance. But just don't put it on balanced. Okay, now here comes the really essential step that is moving your game to the SSD. SSDs are solid state drive and they are way more faster than a hard disk drive. So if you guys are running a low end computer or a very old computer, high chances are it does not have an SSD. You can simply open up Amazon on your PC and then look up for SSD and get whichever one suits best for your PC. Now, once you have had your SSD installed, I'd suggest you guys to migrate your game from your hard disk drive to an SSD. Not just GTA 5, but try moving all of your games to an SSD as that will improve your loading time as well as reduce many FPS issues. And for this, I use Eases Disk Copy. It's a master tool that can help you to copy your disk one to one on another hard disk or SSD without corruption or data loss. It makes the whole process so simple rather than shifting every single game one by one, it copies your game completely to the new SSD. You can do it by simply downloading this from the website and then open the software and then look up for the disk mode just like this. Now here you can always select your source disk that will be the disk that you want to copy and then your target disk that is the disk where you want to be copied. Since my target disk is an SSD, I will check on this option and then simply hit on proceed. This will first format your targeted disk and then copy all of the contents of the source disk and replicate it safely without any data loss and corruption. It also helps you to create a bootable disk if you want to restore your PC, which is also a really handy tool. You can check out Eza's disk copy from the link in the description below. Okay, now once your game is on the SSD, what you have to do is simply create a restore point. And for that, you can simply search up for create a restore point on your PC and over here, select your local disk C, simply click on create and name this thing, anything that you want, such as disk or something that you can remember it from and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving the system integrity. If you want to restore every settings back to double, you can always do it without any data loss. All right, next is the disk optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It will simply help you to optimize your disk to reduce your loading screen time. For this, the first one is the clean temporary files. You have to right click on it and run this thing as an administrator. This will help you to clean all of your temporary files. You can press any key and it will start deleting all of them. This will help you to fix your cache files. Next is the PC optimizer. And this has helpful commands that will optimize your storage for better performance. You can simply right click and run this thing as an administrator as well. I've already done it. Next is disk defragmentation. And for that, you can simply search for defrag and optimize drives. And once you're over here, select your local disk C and simply click on optimize. If this is an SSD, it will start trimming the SSD, which will help you to improve your SSD's performance. And if it is an hard disk drive, you can simply click on optimize and it will start defragmenting your hard disk drive 
drive that will help you to increase the performance of your hard disk drive. The most important thing is your SSD that is the newly installed and as you guys can see I have newly installed this SSD and it needs optimization. If you have never run the optimization for your SSD which has your GTA 5 you can simply click on optimize and it will start trimming that SSD again. Now this will be automatically done so you can simply minimize this and let's move to the next step that is how you can load into your GTA 5 faster and for that you have to simply search for GTA 5 on your PC and simply press enter it will start launching the game and now you have to follow me okay once you're on this screen on your PC you will have an option to go into either online or story mode firstly I recommend you guys to click on story mode and let this thing load this is because GTA online generally has a lot of players and it has a lot of activities going on which needs to be processed and that will take a lot of time while if you load into story mode this will start generating the world and it will start optimizing how the world looks as you guys can see it took me less than a minute to load into story mode now once the world is completely loaded just go out let it render a bit and once it is done simply press your alt key and then go down and open up your gta online and let's see how quick it takes to simply load into gta online i can see joining gta online right beneath it and the screens are now loading and voila we are now in GTA online in total the whole thing took me around 1 minute and 15 seconds and now I am into GTA Online. So if it takes 5 to 6 minutes to just load into GTA Online, this whole strategy will help you to make this process a lot more smoother and just like that, it will be more optimized. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Also, I'm going to be making a new GTA 5 optimization guide. So if you guys are interested into optimizing your GTA, you can always subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the new upcoming guide. We'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out, my friends.